And thank you everyone for coming and joining us in this wonderful vocational rehab counseling episode, I'll call it. Um, let me introduce myself. My name is Terry Hopkins and I'm a vocational rehabilitation counselor working here at Mount Sinai. And my background is my education, I have a master's degree in vocational rehab counseling, and I'm certified as a certified rehab counselor. So I do a lot of vocational rehab counseling. And I've worked in different areas, and my expertise right now is TBI and um, spinal cord injury, but I've worked in all disabilities, in the insurance companies and workers' compensation and so forth. I did my internship at um, what is now called Access VR. So um, looking forward uh, to meeting everyone and talking with everyone today. So how I wanna get started is um, what the vocational role is, what the primary role as a vocational rehab counselor is. And the vocational rehab counseling role basically is work returning to work. And why is that? Because work is a vital part of your life. It gives us purpose, it gives us dignity, and it gives us how we identify ourselves. The importance of work cannot be overstated in my view and other vocational counselors view. For some, it gives us reason for getting out of bed in the morning and beginning our day. So therefore, when someone very much wants to go back to work but cannot do so because of a physical or mental disability, it results in what? Frustration, sadness, and social isolation. This is why we need vocational counseling. So I just wanna emphasize that basically a vocational counselor works with individuals with disabilities, all disabilities, and helping them and assisting them in returning to work. So just let me give you another example of what vocational counselors do. We assist people with disabilities to obtain, and this is important, to obtain competitive integrated employment who might not otherwise be able to do so. Uh, this may involve reasonable accommodations under the Americans with Disabilities Act. And I'll explain the ADA later on today, uh, later. So what is competitive integrated employment? <clears throat> Excuse me, one moment while I just take a sip of my water. The Rehab Act defines competitive integrated employment as work that is performed on a full-time or part-time basis for which an individual is compensated at or above minimum wage and comparable to the customary rate paid by the employer to employer employees without disabilities performing the same duties. That's competitive integrated work. In other words, you don't work for less. You make either the same rate as other people who are doing the same task as you or above that. So that's very important. And that's what vocational counselors strive to do when they're returning people to work. You know, integrated employment refers to job held by people with the most significant disabilities in typical workplace settings where the majority of people, a person's employed are not persons with disabilities. They are integrated with other people. That's what the goal of our vocational counseling is, to integrate them with competitive employment. That's very important. What is my, my role here at Mount Sinai? Here at Mount Sinai, I provide vocational services to patients who have been treated at Mount Sinai. I don't treat uh, work with patients or people with disabilities outside of Mount Sinai. Uh, that happened a couple of times before and it wasn't working out. And the, my, the rule is that I work with people within the Mount Sinai um, hospital who have been treated here or is, or is presently being treated here. So 
The services that I, that I provide are not limited to this, counseling and guidance. What is counseling and guidance? It's a core vocational service that is provided throughout the entire vocational process. It promotes a successful partnership between the consumer and counselor through the whole rehab process. In order to really, it's a mutual agreement between the counselor and myself. I mean, between my the counselor and the patient. In other words, you have to have you have to feel comfortable with the person who you who is counseling you, so that they can provide you with services that you need. Um, it assists and encourages you through the entire process by establishing a relationship of mutual respect. The counselor can be supportive in promoting your developmental skills and achieve the employment outcome that you that works best for you. So that's really important, the counselor and, and the person who you're counseling to have a mutual relationship so that we can do the process entirely and the way you want it to turn out. It can provide a guide, guide you on specific information on programs that are offered within the system. There are a lot of programs and resources out there that you may not know about. And the council can guide you through that process and find and obtain resources for you. It can assist you in the selection of goals and achievement and employment outcome. Can explore alternatives if resources are available but are unavailable to you. So they can explore other resources that are not that you would not be able to find yourself. Um, we work with many, many different organizations and other states actually that I tap into to find out what their resources are that we have some here. One moment, please. One of the goals that we have here, a lot of people wanna go back to work, but they're afraid to because they might not be able to do the task of the jobs that, that, that are being offered to them. And another way around that is to provide them with accommodations. I can facilitate, a council can facilitate with the employer and providing guidance with those accommodations. It might be just something like um, whatever, a, a chair or a, a ramp or a bathroom or a, whatever that may be. According to the ADA, there are accommodations out there that the employer must provide you if it's a reasonable accommodation. Reasonable, I mean that if it's not in any undue expense or over expense for the employer to provide. We create resumes to help you. We guide you through your skills and your resume uh, information uh, through the interview. Uh, we also coach you on interviewing as well as researching and obtaining job training services. There are a lot of training services out there that you might wish to have, you know, obtain, but don't know where and how about to go to get them. So we can research that together and provide you with that information. We can assist you with your job plan. Everyone has to have a goal. And the goal of course is returning to work, but what work? We look at your past work. We look at other work that you may have done in the past that you might want to go back to. You might need a little extra training or you might need an accommodation. So we can help you with in going through that process. Uh, sometimes it can be complicated or confusing for someone who doesn't know where to look for something like that or how to go about doing it. So the counselor can guide you through that or she can help you in attaining that, uh, that information for you and helping you guide you through it. Um, we, can, we can help you with conflict resolution. In other words, some people who are injured and are out on disability want to go back to their same job. So what I do or what counselors do is they contact the employer and then we provide them with information and guide them to help them with accommodations maybe of getting back to that same job or another job within the corporation. Um, I just want to give you a little example. I worked with a person who was out in the Midwest and he was in a car accident and he was paralyzed from his waist down. He was a vice president of a huge corporation. And he came to me and said, I wanna go back to work. I wanna go back to my old job. So we worked with the state, with the employer, and we provided for free. The state and the employer 
uh, provided all the accommodations so that person could go back to work and do the same job as he was doing for 10 years. It was a very successful return to work. So we, so if the employer likes vocational counselors. They like us to help them, guide them, to see what's necessary and where to go for it. Because some of them have no information at all about it. And they really appreciate a counselor coming in and helping them with it. And I enjoy that very much. We maintain communication with you and your employer throughout the whole process. We, we follow up with the employer to see how you're doing. We follow up and see if the accommodations are working. We follow up to see if there's anything else needed. Um, we, we help you through the whole process. It could be a year and before you really get familiar with what you're doing and familiar with the job. And so we can help you with that process or if there's any problems, we can intervene before it becomes a, a, another problem or before it becomes the fact that you know, you're frustrated or the employer is frustrated. So we work with the employer and you throughout the whole process. We help you with your skills and detaining training for your skills that you might need for that one particular job. There are a lot of things that we can help you with and it's all free. So you don't pay for it. It's an opportunity for you to return to work to a job that you really want to do. Some people don't want to go back to their old job. They might want to say, hey, you know, I've always wanted to do this, so I want to get training. So we help you provide you with the training for the new job also. And again, most majority of times it is free. So it's an opportunity for you to take advantage of the resources that we, we help you with. Let me see. Um, one thing, a, a voca at least I do, a vocational counselor will look at when they're interviewing you is to see, we, 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 we have this idea that you should return, well, not should, but perhaps a better thing is to return to your own job with your present employer. And most people want to do that. They want to return to their old, you know, their present job with their own employer that they were comfortable with. So we look to see if that's possible. And maybe that might involve uh, return to work accommodations with the employer or without. We can't do that. We look to see if you can turn to your own employer in another job with or without accommodations. So that may work or it may not work. And if it doesn't, we look for maybe going to another employer with the same job or a different job with or without accommodations. We also look at maybe self-employment. Many people say, well, you know, I've always wanted to have my own business. I'd like to get some training, perhaps to maybe be having your own business and doing self-employment. So there's a possibility that you can be self-employed and do what you really want to do with training and see if we can help in that area. I know that Access VR looks at that and helping you becoming your own employer. So there are different, different options, and it's a lot of opportunity to work with a vocational counselor, I think, to get your goals and what you really want to do and have a productive, competitive work environment. What we do is we work with several resources, resources such as what I work with basically is Access VR. One moment, please. Many of you may have heard of Access VR. It's a state agency. It's for people who have a disability who have been injured and have provide assistance in employment. Their goal, again, is employment. I did my internship there, and that was the goal. The end goal was to have somebody working. So they have a lot of resources at Access VR, I have to say that, that are free. They can provide you with training. They can provide you with education. They can help you with job placement. They can help you access um, other resources, maybe accommodations and uh, employment services. Their main goal is job placement and what they, how it works. And this will be another session that I'll, I'll talk about or have somebody come from Access VR to discuss their uh, resources and opportunities there. But they, 
they did, they're, again, they're vocational counselors, and their main goal is to get you to return to competitive integrated employment or self-employment. And I stress self-employment because I think a lot of people are self-employed because of this pandemic, they're working from home and they might have resourced uh, you know, their skills that they had and decided to become their own boss, which is quite nice. What I do is I help you through the process of uh, Access VR. I set you up with an orientation, an appointment. I help you with the paperwork. There's a ton of paperwork that you have to fill out. I help you with that. And I help you to get settled with a counsel like myself. And the good part about that is that I work with that counselor and you to provide the, the job placement opportunities and the um, return to work plan. A lot of return to work plans you might not like. And so I intervene and say, this is not exactly what he would like to do or he, she would like to do. And I help you change that goal you know, if it's reasonable. And I work along with the counselor as a, more or less as a, uh, a person who would help another person in their job. So I facilitate that um, and I'm an advocate for you. I'll always be an advocate uh, when you come into my office to find employment. So with that, um, do you have any questions so far? Hello? Um, yes. Um, and anyone can just put their questions in the chat while while the webinar is going on. And then at the end you can you can answer the questions. Hello? Yes, okay. Yes. Should I click on the chat button? It says four. Um, you can click on it, but I'm checking on it right now and we, we don't have any questions yet. Oh, okay. But you can go ahead and click on the chat box and open it up and then you'll also have access to the questions as they pop up. Oh, okay. I don't see any questions here at all. No, because there are no questions yet. So oh, okay. Okay, so a lot, of, a lot of information that I've been receiving lately is when somebody is on a disability, they're afraid, sometimes they're hesitant to go back to work because they're afraid they're going to lose their benefits. And I can understand that. Um, I know Social Security has a ticket to work program, which works very well. Um, I'm getting information more on that and I'm working with Access VR to obtain that information. But the last information I had is that you can return to work and keep your benefits. And it's a nine month program within three years. What that means is that you don't, it take, you can work nine months. It could be three months, one year, three months, another year, and three months, another year. And if you obtain those nine months within the three year period, you can work and keep your benefits. And I believe if I'm not sure, I'm gonna check on that the last time it was, you can earn as much as you want. So that ticket to work program is a great opportunity to test to see if you really like the job, can you do the job, or do you want to try another job? There are different uh, aspects of that Ticket to Work program. I work with a lot of people on that Ticket to Work program, and it really worked for them because they were hesitant because of their fearful that they're going to lose all their benefits, and then they're going to have to reapply, and, and uh, they might not get their benefits again. So I, I'm getting more information on that. I'm hoping to have somebody uh, in our next session that can explain more about that Ticket to Work program because I think it's a real good opportunity for somebody to uh, take advantage of. Um, also, um, I don't know much about, I got a, a question about workers' compensation. I did workers' compensation many years ago. And depending on the state that you live in, it's different. Every state is different with uh, workers' compensation. Some have vocational counseling, some don't, from what I understand. So if anyone has a question about the workers' compensation, I can certainly uh, research it and see, you know, what, what their vocational uh, plan is if they have one. 
Uh, I don't want to really comment on it because I'm not sure what state they live in or how it works for them. Um, but if you have a question about that, um, please uh, please forward it to me and I will, I will uh, look it up and try and find and help you as much as I can. One moment, please. Now, the vocational counseling can be quite, it's, it's, it's a long process at the beginning. And it's frustrating because there's a lot of paperwork. There's a lot of research. There's a lot of hard work with it in you know, trying to identify what you want to do, where you want to go, and how you want to do this. And it's, it's not easy, but with a counselor, you can, it, they can help you, you know, facilitate that and make it easier for you to return to work. I mean, some people have been out of work for years, and they're very fearful about going back. But I'm here, and I advise you to come in and see me. It could be one visit or it could be many visits, but I'd love to talk to you individually to see what your goals are and to see if I can help you with them. Um, I think that's about it right now on vocational counseling. Um, I hope I covered everything. It's a, it's a process. And again, it's returning to work. And there are a lot of opportunities out there that I can certainly open up your eyes to and, and research with you. Um, Teresa? I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Teresa? This is yes. our... Yes. So we have a question. Janet Goodman is asking, how about... How about how it's working in New York State? Can can you clarify, Janet, what what are you um what you're asking? How is it working in New York State? How is what working? Hello? Uh-huh. Janet? Yeah. Janet, can you clarify? Mm -hmm. Are people on? Your question. Oh. Janet, uh, no? Okay. Oh, you Janet, are you asking if I strictly work for, with, with Mount Sinai patients? No, dear, I'm not. Mm -hmm. Oh. So, um, working with disability for people who are on disability already, how fearful do they need to be? I'm sorry, could you just be a little louder? I, I can't hear you. Janet, you're, you're on. You can just ask your question. Uh -huh. You can go ahead and just ask your question. All right, where am I? Um, I'm so sorry. Um, okay. I can hear yeah. you. I just, I just wanted to, you know, you, you're in Mount Sinai and how have things, how do you find things working in New York with the disability system and people being able to get back, back to work without being fearful of losing their disability? Well, that's, that's where I, uh, where the uh, ticket to work programs come in. I don't know what type of disability you're on. There are several types of disabilities. There's long-term disability, short-term disabilities, and workers' comp or SSI. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm working with people who've um, who've been found disabled and and either have SSD or SSI. Right. And, you know, they're they really are so frightened of losing their disability that even talking about a volunteer job um, becomes very difficult. I can understand that, and that is a you know I can understand that completely because because um, that is very that is very fearful. But like I said, I'm looking into a ticket to work program with the Access VR, and I'm hoping to get more information. I know that we um, the ticket to work program allowed people to go back and test to see if they like the job, if they can do the job, and it gives it for nine months. But I don't know if that's changed. I, I haven't spoken to them over in over a year, and I don't want to say anything unless because it may have changed. But it used to be for nine months, and I don't know if it was in a three-year period or a five-year period. I'm trying to get access information on that. 
but I'll have more information the next time because I, I hope to have somebody here who will be able to address that in our next meeting. Does that help? Hello? Okay. Well, we have, um, we have another question. Sure. Do you offer vocational counseling programs for out of state as well? well meaning that you live in another state? Yes, for, for people that live out of New York, I guess. Out that's of New question. York. And you were a patient here at Mount Sinai at one time? What I usually do, if somebody is going to, if somebody was treated here at Mount Sinai and perhaps they're going back home to maybe another state, what I would do is what I would coordinate that vocational uh, guide of the vocational uh, rehabilitation with the state that they're going to. I would coordinate that with, because every state has a vocational rehab counseling for people with disabilities. It's state run and um, they all uh, have one in the state that you're going to. So I would coordinate those services with that uh, person who's involved and uh, get them uh, set up with an appointment at, in that state. Does that help? Yes, yes, thank you. Yes, you can come in, call me. I'll give you my telephone number at the end. And you can call me and I will provide those services for you. I have no problem with that. Elisa, thank you. Very much appreciated. Okay, any other questions? I see a question here from Edwin. Um, what will happen with my Medicaid and my SSD benefit if I return to work? Well, like I, I'm gonna answer it, uh, it's on here now. Um, like I said, um, SS, uh, Social Security has a ticket to work program. So I'm gathering up information to see if that includes Medicaid and SSD benefits. I'm not sure if it's both SSDI or SSI and whether we, how, how would that would affect your Medicaid benefit. I have a question here, uh, says, where is the current demand for vocational rehab counselors? Can you elaborate on that? I don't know what, what you would want me, to, um, what do you mean by that? Yeah, are they hiring vocational rehab counselors? Rehab counselors work in all areas. They work in insurance companies. They work for the federal the job market, I believe, is very good. Uh, vocational counselors work in all aspects, all areas, insurance companies, workers' compensation, long-term, short-term disability in insurance companies. They work for lawyers. They work um, for, here, um, for federal government in um, evaluating people's jobs and being an expert witness. So there's uh, a market for it, I believe. I haven't checked the job market right now, but as of last year, there was definitely always somebody hiring a vocational counselor. And there are a lot of um, educational programs out there that you uh, can do online. Um, 
that are, uh, it's a master's degree program. It's a two-year program, but you can do them now online so that you don't have to actually be in person. Any other questions? Thank you, thank you. If you need more information about what schools are available online, I can provide that with you. At the end of this session, I'll give you my, uh, I'm gonna give, give everyone my telephone number so you can call me or come in to see me. Anybody else? Well, okay. Perhaps you can um, just give all your information of where they can contact you if they have any questions further on and this is a, a, a series of webinars that we're gonna be having. So we will follow up with everyone on when the next one will be. It will, we plan on having it every month, the first Thursday of every month, um, but just be on the lookout for that. Right, I'm hoping that the next session that I will have somebody uh, from Access VR go over some of their services and resources that they offer now and particularly in that Ticket to Work program, I think that's a real opportunity for people to look at because a lot of people, like I said, are fearful of losing their benefits. And this might be some way of uh, taking that fear out of, out of you, you know, and that you can try something without losing your benefits. So I think it'll be great to have somebody here to um, talk about. If she can't come or he can't come, I will find the information and provide it with you next time. Okay, my name, uh, I'll just give you my t name and telephone number. My name is Terry, T-E-R-R-Y. My last name is Hopkins, H-O-P-K-I-N-S. My telephone number is 212-824-1111. Again, 212-824-7596. And I do look forward to meeting you and talking with you to see if I can help you in any way and to obtain your goals of returning to work. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. We hope that you will join us next time.